Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I will show you how to write log trigger in PLSQL Oracle. Whenever user perform any transaction on employee table, I want to get the information of the user and that is which user has performed this transaction, what kind of transaction it is insert update or delete, what is the old information of the employee and what is the new information of the employee that I want to get. What is old information? It means that whenever user delete the data, it is known as a old information. And whenever user perform the insert, it is new information. But whenever user performing any update transaction, at that time you will get old and new both. So I want to get all this information in the log table. So that is what I want to do over here. So let's do the same thing practically. So first of all, you need the log table over here. So let me create the log table. So I'm just writing over here that is create table log employee in which I want the information of the user who has performed the transaction. So I want the information like this that is username. So I'm writing over here that is username and data type is that is where care to 10. I want the timestamp. So I'm writing here that is timestamp data type is a date. I want the transaction type, which kind of transaction it is, insert, update, or delete. So I want to store here, that is work at 26. Now here, I want the old employee number. So I'm writing here, that is an old employee number. Data type is number of five digit. I want the new employee number. So I'm writing here, that is a new employee number. Data type is number of five. As well as I want the old name. So I'm writing here that is an old employee name. Data type is varcat to six. I want the new employee name. So I'm writing here that is a new employee name. Data type is varcat to six. I want the old designation. So I'm writing here that is an old job. That is varcat to ten. New designation. So I'm writing here that is a new job. Varcat to ten. As well as I want the old salary. Data type is integer and I want the new salary data type is integer. So this is what the information of the user who has performed any transaction on an employee. I want to store over here in log table. So you can copy all this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL and you will get the message table is created. So now table is created. Now I need to create the trigger that will do what whenever user perform any information on employee. It will store the detail over here in the log employee and that I want automatically. So for that, I need to create the trigger over here. So I'm just creating the trigger over here. That is a create or replace trigger. And here you can provide the name of the trigger. I'm writing the name of my trigger is log employee trigger. When you want to execute this trigger. So I want to execute this trigger whenever the user perform any insert or update or delete on employee table. So I'm writing that after insert or update or delete on which table the table is employee for every row I want to reflect. So I'm writing here that is for each row here you can write begin and and now first of all I need the information of the user. So I'm just writing over here that is insert into so I'm writing here that is insert into log employee. Which information you want? I want the user information. So I'm writing here that is user. So it will retrieve the name of the user who has performed the transaction. Now I want the date and time. So I'm writing here that is a sys date. Now I want the transaction user has performed insert or update or delete. So for that you need to declare the variable. So I'm just declaring the variable over here that is a declare. And here you can declare the variable that is variable transaction type. Data type is where care two and length is a six. Now here you can write the condition. If user is performing inserting, then value of this transaction type variable will be insert. Else if if it is updating, then value of this transaction type variable will be update. Else if if it is deleting, then value of this transaction type value will be delayed. And here you can write and if. Now 
I want to store this value that is a variable transaction type over here. So I'm writing that is variable transaction type. Now I want to insert the old employee number and new employee number. So for that, you need to use the pseudo column. So I'm writing over here that is column old dot employee number. So what is column old? It will retrieve the information of the employee number whenever the employee is deleted or if it is updated. So here you can write that is column new dot employee number. Not only this, I want the name information also. So I'm writing over here that is column old dot employee name colon new dot employee name colon old dot job colon new dot job colon old dot salary colon new dot salary so this is what the information i want whenever user perform any insert update or delete on employee table and that i want to store over here in log employee table so now my trigger is ready you can copy all this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL. Now I'm getting an error. What is error? Let me show the error. So I'm writing here that is so ERR. It is showing the error on 10th line. So here in 10th line, I need to write over here. That is a transaction type colon equal to delete. I need to write here semicolon. So what changes I need to do here? Very simple. I need to write the semicolon over here. So let me write the semicolon. Now you can copy all this statement and you can paste over here in PLSQL and you will get the message trigger is created. Once the trigger is created, now it's a time to taste the trigger. So it is very simple. You can write over here that is a select star from log employee. So there are no record available over here. Let me check over here that is select star from employee. There are 15 records available over here. Now I don't want this data. So I just want to delete this record that is four time one. So I'm just writing over here that is a delete from employee where employee number is equal to four time one. Let me check the data into employee table. There are only 14 records and let me check into the log employee table. Here you can check that who has performed the transaction Squat has performed the transaction on which date 18 September what he did delete the data and here I am getting the old number why I am not getting the new because it is a deleted record if you are performing insert then you will get new data you will not get old data and whenever you are performing update you will get the old and new both so what is the name of that person Haryom and the old job is programmer now I want to perform the update where i want to perform the update i want to perform the update over here i want to change the job of this smith from programmer to clerk so it is very simple you can write here that is a update employee set job is equal to clerk so this will be a new job where employee number is equal to 7369 and here you can check select star from employee job of the employee is a change now it is clerk and you can check into the log select star from log employee you will be able to see that squat update old job was a programmer and the new job is clerk now i want to change the salary also so i'm writing here that is a update employee set salary is equal to 800 where employee number is equal to 7369 and here you can check into the log you will get the data old salary is 20,000 and new salary is 800 not only this suppose if you perform insert into the data that is insert into employee and suppose if you are inserting the employee number name job and salary and if you insert the value, for example, 8888, new data is a Tatsat and job of the Tatsat is, for example, manager and salary is, for example, 87,000. Now you can check into the data, select star from log employee. You will get here the insert is performed. Now you will get the new data that is four times eight and the name of the person is Tatsat.
So every data is new over here. So it is very simple. Whenever you are inserting the data, you will get always new data. Whenever you are deleting the data, you will get always old data. And whenever you are trying to update the data, you will get the old and new both. So this is the way you can create the log trigger in PLSQL. So that's it from my side. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.